So, you're feeling like you're broken, or perhaps you feel like your flaws make you unlovable, but that's not true. The symptoms and brokenness that you've been feeling could very well be clinical depression. And if you relate to the signs about to be listed in the video, we suggest talking to a therapist because clinical depression actually requires professional help. We wanna remind you that depression can be managed and you're not broken or flawed, like what your depression is telling you. Here are six signs you're going through depression, you're not broken. We also have a little treat for you at the end of this video. If you wanna get more involved with us, stay tuned. Number one, your sleep schedule is severely off. Sleep is one of the most important things we do daily or nightly. It helps with memory retention, helps our health, and allows us to recharge and refresh every day. The CDC recommends adults aged 18 to 60 get at least seven hours of sleep per day. When we sleep more or less than this, it can be a sign that we're running from and ignoring our thoughts and feelings. And this out of whack sleep cycle is your body's way of giving you a warning signal that something more is going on. Number two, drastic changes in your eating habits. Similar to number one, eating is a necessary thing to keep you alive and well. Overeating is a common way some will numb their feelings and thoughts. Undereating is also common. Sometimes depression can bring feelings of anxiety or even make you nauseous, so you may not want to eat at all. Either way, this is a huge red flag that something more is going on. Number three, you don't enjoy hobbies or hanging out with friends. We all need a rest or mental health day here and there, it's healthy to pay attention to yourself to ensure you're keeping yourself in a good state of mind and body. However, it can be a problem if you've completely withdrawn yourself. Sometimes it may be as simple as going to school or work and immediately returning home. Sometimes it may be not partaking in hobbies. It can even be not leaving your room for days or weeks. This change of pace can be another warning sign of depression. Number four, you're angry or irritated a lot of the time. When you're in a low state and are forced to be around others, it can sometimes bring up other negative emotions like anger, irritability, and agitation. Small inconveniences that you're usually able to shrug off or ignore might cause you to overreact or lash out. If you notice this is how most of your interactions are going these days, you may be going through something more. Number five, you talk and think about death a lot. It can start with the ever popular, I just wanna die when something bad happens, but it escalates from there. It turns into thoughts and talking about death and slowly morphs into thoughts and talking about how you could end your life. This is commonly referred to as suicide ideation. This sign can be masked as dark humor. If a loved one is using jokes and sarcasm to mask depression or thoughts and feelings of death, this can be a silent cry for help. And there's always help please contact the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 800-273-8255. And number six, you feel aches and pains all over your body. Mental health issues can manifest as physical health issues. A 2010 study found that inflammation and a decrease in immune system function can be caused by depression. Inflammation can happen in your muscles and even in your digestive tract. Stomach pain, bloating, and other gastrointestinal ailments can all be linked to depression. This is a huge distinction in figuring out if you're feeling broken because of a bad event or if you might be depressed. The brokenness that you're feeling is a lie that depression is telling you. So do you identify with any of these signs? Do you know anyone who does? If you do, please reach out to a loved one and a mental health professional to help explore your feelings. And do you have any stress relieving tips? Let us know in the comments below. All right, thanks for sticking with us till the very end. Are you looking for ways to make extra income? Given the current state of the economy and how difficult it is to find a job, we take pride in our ability to hire new talents from all over the world. That said, we are once again looking for 2D animation talent, script writers, researchers, and project managers to help enhance the content on Psych2Go. Our goal for 2022 is to continue producing high quality, well-researched content in order to keep up with all your topic requests. We'll be able to accomplish this more as a larger group. If you're interested, please send an email to recruiting at psych2go.net with the subject line, 
animation application, SC application, VO application, or PM application in the subject line. We're looking forward to meeting you. Please send a portfolio, custom samples are preferred, resume, and your reason for applying. We'd like to thank everyone again for watching, supporting, and sharing our content. It means a lot to be able to do all of this. If you found this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find insight in it too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, until next time.